Drop a comment below. Subscribe to me, let's go. It's the Tiali. It's the Tiali show. It's the Tiali. It's the Tiali show. Hey guys, it's Dini from High Fashion DIY. Today I'm going to do a DIY on this beautiful bathing suit right here. So, if you want to see how I did it, then keep on watching. Let's go. I went ahead and I cut out two pieces of 4 inches wide by 30 inches long. That's the, this is the width of my bust area and I want to relatively cover it. <laughs> so, if you don't know how long your bust area is or if you don't have a measuring tape, then just take the fabric and just measure around your bust like this. This is how I have mine. So I'm going to go right ahead now and I'm going to stitch them together. Ensure that the right sides are touching, wrong sides facing up. I accidentally deleted the footage of me cutting out the pattern, so please forgive me. Stitch down the two long sides 28 inches and leave the two short sides open. Stitch both short sides together and cut off the excess fabric. Cut two 1 inch by 14 inch strips and pull on them making the straps. Now we're going to make the bottom. Find our favorite shorts, the one that fit us the best and we're going to use that as our pattern. Fold your shorts in half, fold our fabric in four pieces. Ensure that the fabric is longer than the width of the shorts. Place the shorts onto the fabric and pin the shorts to all four layers of the fabric. Then we're going to mark a one inch seam allowance all the way around the shorts. Then we're going to go ahead and cut out the pattern on the same line where we made that one inch seam allowance mark. Pin the first two pieces together at the crotch and down the sides. I want my shorts to have frills on the legs, so I cut two one-inch strips twice the length of my thighs and stitch the ends together. I pin the frill strips onto the leg hole, right sides touching, making half-inch folds as I go along, then I stitch them together. Now we have both legs, we're going to turn one inside out and the other one right side out. The one that is right side out, we're going to put it inside of the one that is inside out and we're going to pin it all the way around to the back and three inches above the crotch on the front. put on the belt. I cut a 2 inch strip the length of my waist. I pin the strip onto the shorts and stitch it all the way around. Put on the zip. This is a bit difficult, but you got this. Open the zip. Then I fold over the raw edge of the shorts inwards and pin the zip onto the shorts, ensuring that both layers are caught. Pin all the way around, ensuring that I pin the bottom of the zip. And 
and then I'm going to stitch in a U shape for the ends I'm going to open the zipper and stitch those down flat <laughs> Yeah.